We would never think that our dogs could be labeled a menace to society, but... Animal control knocked on my door. And like, Does a little black dog live here? That's how Angela Gullner found out her dog was in trouble for biting a neighbor <laughs> and how she got snared in a legal system she never knew existed. And apparently this person had called animal control and had reported the incident. Um, and that started the whole thing. She's just a little clown. She At this point, Angela had no idea what was going to be in store for her or her eight-year-old blind bulldog, Bina. I had no idea if she was going to get taken away from us, if she was going to get put down, if we were going to have to pay a big fine. And he said an incident had been filed against her. We had to take a mugshot <laughs> of my blind dog. So I was holding her up, and her eyes were in different directions. What Angela is describing is the first step of ending up here, the headquarters of the Los Angeles Department of Animal Services, where doggy drama is on full display. You could call it animal court, a process so few know about that SoCal-connected cameras are the first allowed inside. This is where some dogs, or at least their owners, end up making their case. Anything can land a dog in animal court. Barking, biting, lunging, or in Bina's case, just the mere accusation. My dog was inside our house and he claimed that she had bit her. Now I never saw her bite anyone. I never saw her leave the house. She doesn't have hands, so she can't open the door herself. The only purpose of this hearing is to, to determine if there's a safety issue concerning dogs in the city of LA. These legal proceedings aren't trials, but witnesses are called, lawyers are hired, and evidence is presented, sometimes pitting neighbor against neighbor. We had an incident, and, and like your dogs were out, they attacked our dogs, and like honestly, I just think it's in your best interest to say, gosh, I'm sorry. I already did. I no, I did. no, you didn't. Okay, well. Even a routine morning walk can land you here. This case took place in Glassell Park, where two little dogs were attacked. You know, went behind me and they were on leashes and they were, you know, yelping and crying and essentially they were growling and barking at him and eventually got him off him, kicked, you know, got knocked down and kicked him away and punched him. And, and they're just, they're, never, they're timid around other dogs I in the first place. Other dog no, it's like our sweet little dogs dog. and they were terrified. And then there were. didn't happen at the park? No, it was, was on the corner. He got right knocked into place. Eagle Rock Boulevard. Oh, okay. okay, I think all right, I've heard. Well, let's, all right, well, let's. let's Go okay. back this way, because okay. otherwise we're just going to turn into crosstalk. Crosstalk. These cases remind us that just because a dog is cute, that doesn't mean it can't be accused of being dangerous. So this is your bulldog, right? Yes. He looks like a big panda bear. Yeah, he is. <laughs> He's like a big teddy bear. <laughs> okay, so what is his name? Chucky. And sometimes it's not just the dogs getting attacked. But I think as my she's my neighbor, and oh. you know me, I don't, I wouldn't do that to my neighbor, or right. I wouldn't do that to any anyone's dog. So I think, basically, she didn't show up. I don't think she was being truthful. Instances like this are what some describe as neighbors weaponizing the law. Unfortunately, LA Animal Services has allowed itself to be weaponized, and same with the the dangerous dog ordinance to a certain, you know. Also, hearings are really not about dogs, but about neighbors who don't like each other. Captain Troy Boswell is one of two hearing examiners in the department. All right, because I have, I have photographs and I, I get an idea of what's yeah. going on. Here. This is just one of hundreds of cases Boswell and Captain Danny Pantoja hear every year. The dog to be a chow mix named Fluffy, who is currently in license and currently in rabies, and a Labrador mix named Boo Boo. Together, they hear four you cases know, a day, and they've seen it all, from poodles so to pit bulls. Minor injuries to severity injuries, um, these incidents all could be avoided if people would properly control their dogs. And Captain Boswell says he's seen his share of breakdowns, meltdowns, fights, and like in this case, tears. She pretty much kind of bled out on the grass, and I tried to take her to the emergency room, and there was no saving her, so... She passed away. Shannon and her dog were attacked. Her dog died in her arms. What happens next to the other dog is now up to the evidence. Fortunately, I don't make the decision. I make a recommendation. If the accused does not agree, they can appeal to the Board of Animal Services Commission. SoCal Connected looked at cases where dogs are accused of biting other dogs, biting children, and yes, even biting the mailman. Many are confined to the owner's property for public health and safety reasons. Okay. Angela couldn't take Bina anywhere for two weeks. 
she couldn't leave the premises, which was really obnoxious because uh, it, she slowed down a little bit now that she's older, but she was really active and she like lives for her walks. And so it was really hard to keep her inside or just to this back area for two weeks. She started to go a little bit stir crazy. Dogs can be confined until their cases are heard, sometimes taking up to a year. That means no walks, no play dates, not even a vet visit without permission from the department. How many cases are in here? Do I you couldn't think? honestly tell you. I mean, we're doing two a day every day. Well, two I a day, mean, just you. Just me. Um, my partner does two a day also, so, you know, do the math. As a result of policy changes, the department is overwhelmed with hearings. There are currently 395 cases waiting to be heard, and just Pantoja and Boswell to do them all. And it often happens where we get a whole spurt of animal impounds by the shelter, so suddenly we get cases backed up, backed up, backed up even further. We find ourselves sometimes 8, 10, 12 months behind. In more serious cases, dogs can end up in doggy jail, also known as the animal shelter. The area is past this gate, so you couldn't even go past that area. They all look like this. They're just, no one can go past this small gate here. Okay. They're all over there. Behind this gate is where you keep all the dogs that are impounded waiting for hearings. Um, yeah, either waiting for hearings or um, waiting for the owners to be able to come up with the money to come get their dog too. How many dogs do you have here in, that are currently impounded? Let's see, I think here we have maybe 12. When we visited, there were 34 dogs in shelters across Los Angeles waiting for hearings to decide their fate. But defense attorneys say this is a guilty until proven innocent system. It's really unfair. I mean, it's, the sad thing is there's just not even a pretense of due process. Instead of hearings, residents and lawyers say it could be as simple as keeping your dog on a leash. Where is LA Animal Services? Why aren't they issuing citations? This is what they should be doing. You know, finding a person with an off-leash dog is like shooting fish in a barrel in L.A. I think that would go a long way to getting people to be more responsible and keep their dogs on leash. As for Angela, the case was dismissed because the man claiming Bina bit him never showed up. She's a free, she's a free dog. Even though the process is over, there can be lasting impacts. It was, it was all really unnerving and, and really strange. And then I've, I have been worried that I'm going to see him on the street. It did feel a little bit like a betrayal or like, like my character was being sort of skewered a little bit. And sometimes a simple apology is all that's really needed. I don't know, just an apology would be a human thing to do, you know? It's okay, we apologize that our dogs harmed you and it won't happen again. Okay, thank you.